I heard you like card tricks. Here's a fun card trick that you're gonna like because it's an old card trick with a little bit of a twist. There's nothing more that magicians love than card tricks with twists. And today I'm gonna show you a very simple one. Here's what you do. You grab a, a close-up mat with pubic hairs on it and you put a Taco Bell bath mat over an Amazon.com coffee table that looks like somebody just blew about $15 worth of Coke on. Then you're gonna have the participant on this Taco Bell bath mat deal down cards and you're gonna have them stop whenever it feels right to them. They could stop dealing. As a matter of fact, they could shuffle the deck as they deal. So they could truly stop whenever it is they want. They have consent. You're then gonna instruct them to deal four hands of poker going back and forth. So in this case, the participant is gonna go back and forth, back and forth like this, deal four piles up, almost like their poker hands. And ultimately here, my friend, is where we have our first miracle. Because believe it or not, after the shuffles, after the mixing, look at that. You have happened to have dealt yourself the four aces. The four aces have been dealt, which lets me know that you're a little bit of a cheat you're a cheater because you got the four aces. But here's the thing, the, the cheating goes deeper. It goes deeper than that because you think that this is the end of it. No, my friend, this trick goes further than that, further than that, because you managed to also deal yourself a royal flush in spades. Oh yeah, that's a very easy card trick, right? You don't really have to do a lot of work. You just set it up and it pretty much works itself. If you want to learn some hard stuff, you should maybe check out the Pick Cake Magic Academy. But you already know about it, right? You've already seen it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put an unlisted video where I talk about the different tiers in the description section below. It talks a little bit about what, what you get, what you get when you join the Academy. So go ahead and check it out because um, you're, you're not there. So you're square. You might want to not be a square and be a circle and join the Academy. So here's the setup, my friends. All you're gonna do is take the aces. If you want, you could put the ace of spades last or you could put it first, it's up to you, it's not gonna matter. Then you're gonna get your four royal flush cards and put those on top of the aces. You're gonna put them on top of the aces. They're gonna go on top of the aces. They go on top of the aces. So you're gonna put them on top of the aces. And now you're ready to go. That starts on top of the deck and now you're ready to show them some card tricks. You can mix the bottom of the deck as much as you want, as long as you don't shuffle this eight card stack. And you're gonna hand them the deck and tell them to deal cards on a table one at a time. Now here, it's very important that you're gonna watch them because you're gonna watch for them to deal the first eight cards on the table. Then after, it's a free for all. They could deal the cards however they want. They could shuffle the cards. They could deal them from the bottom from the middle, they could deal cards from the repressed childhood. It doesn't matter because now the cards are where you need them to be, which is on the bottom. And now it's just gonna be a matter of telling them to deal four hands of poker going back and forth. So you're gonna have them deal the cards like this, that's it. Like it's four hands of poker going back and forth, going back and forth, because a trick works itself. It doesn't matter how many cards are in the pile, as long as they deal the cards in that way, guess what, you're good to go because the top cards of all these packets are gonna be aces, right? They're gonna be aces. And guess what, guess what rather, the cards are underneath these. They're the royal flush. So now you have a little bit of a double hit because first of all, you could show them that they've managed to deal themselves after the shuffles, the cuts, the repressed father. You could have them deal to the aces. And then you go, oh, but you actually, you actually did this one step further, my friends. You took the cheating to the next level you penetrated with the cheating because you also managed to deal yourself, deal yourself, my goodness, that Domino's is really coming up, uh, a royal flush in spades. Um, you should be shot. We should take you out back and shoot you. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take you out back and I'm gonna shoot you, but in my special way, sexually. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun when you don't really have to do a lot of work? It just works itself as long as they deal the first eight cards and you tell them, hey, now at this point, go ahead. You could shuffle the cards. Obviously, you're not going to say now at this point, but you, in your head, you go, ha ha, I got you. You already did everything you need to do for this trick to work. So now all the rules don't apply. You could shuffle the cards. You could deal them from different parts of the deck. You could use 
things that you were holding back since childhood that you only tell a therapist. Therapy is for rich white people, I realize. It's not for uh, Latin American individuals that were raised by uh, a Cuban uh, grandmother, the, the matriarch of the family, and a, a mother, right? It doesn't work because you go, hey, I need therapy. And you go, what? What, what are you, uh, a wimp? Um, boy, um, yeah, check out the Academy, I guess. I already said that. Uh, but I want to say it here at the end, just to uh, tail off on that. Uh, There's a good trick. It's a good trick. Just do it. Just do it and people are going to like you because of the trick. Not because of your personality, because you're probably falling back on magic because of the lack of personality. But do the trick. Do the trick. It's a good one. I see you again When I see you again When I see you again When I see you again